What's up guys, welcome to another tutorial. This is an exciting one as it's the first one that I'm making since I switched over to DaVinci Resolve from Adobe Premiere Pro. I've put together a handful of quick tips that will surely make your edits a lot faster and made the transition for me from Premiere to Resolve a lot smoother. So let's get into it. There are a few keyboard shortcuts that I use all the time and they probably cut my editing time in half. The three crucial ones are start to playhead, split clip, and end at playhead, which I have mapped to Q, W, and E respectively. Let me show you how I use these on a talking head video like this. So here is the entire talking head video that I would shoot for this type of video. And for each sentence or every couple sentences, I have several takes because, well, I make a lot of mistakes. So once I find the portion of the clip that I want to start at, I press Q and it cuts everything and all the mistakes before that playhead up to the playhead. Now I'll go to the end of that sentence or segment, hit W and that will cut the footage at that point. And now I move on to the next sentence. Once I find the clip I like, I hit Q again and it cuts everything before the playhead again. And I keep doing this again and again until I'm done with all of the A-roll footage. Now, when I get to the end, instead of hitting Q to make a cut, I hit E and it just cuts and then deletes everything after the cut. This is just one step of my entire editing process, but if you wanna see a video where I break down how I would edit the entire video start to finish, leave a comment down below. There are a couple other keyboard shortcuts that are really good to know. One of which is copying clips, which you can do by holding Alt or Option, depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac, and dragging that clip, which makes a copy of it. Another is moving clips up and down tracks. Just hold Alt or Option, and with the clip selected, hit the up and down arrow keys, and the clip will move up and down the tracks. One thing that I used to rely on a lot in Premiere Pro were proxies, but since I upgraded to a MacBook Pro and since I switched over to Resolve, thankfully I haven't had to use proxies. However, there is one setting that you absolutely should turn on in order to make your edits go a lot quicker, and that is something called Smart Rendering. To enable Smart Rendering, go up into Playback, Render Cache, and then select Smart. When you turn on Smart Rendering, you'll now see little lines above your clips, which are either blue or red. Blue means that they're fully rendered, and red means that they're not. Resolve will prioritize rendering of these clips based on where you are in the timeline. So if you're zoomed in over here, then it will prioritize rendering these clips to ensure playing them back in the timeline is smooth. Okay, this one will save you a ton of time and it's one that I've been using a lot lately and it's stack timelines. Going back to my previous example of this talking head video, let's say now I wanna sprinkle in some B-roll across the video. First, I'll go into my timelines folder, right click and create a new timeline. I'll rename this timeline to B-roll selects. Now I'll open up this timeline, go into my B-roll folder and drag all of my B-roll clips onto this timeline. Now what I'm gonna do is go through and do the same thing that I did for the talking head video, but with the B-roll, picking out which specific sections of the clips that I wanna use and cutting out the rest. Once that's done, click this little icon here and click stacked timelines. Then go over here, click this icon, and it will open up another timeline. And now I have two timelines open. I'll set this up so my main timeline is on the bottom and the B-roll selects timeline is on the top. Now I can go to the portion of my main timeline that I want to include some B-roll and drag that B-roll clip down onto my timeline. And I'll keep doing this until I'm done adding B-roll to my video. This one will literally save you hours when it comes to exporting your footage. So when I switched over from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve, I had finished editing my first video and I had added some glitch titles to it, which in case you guys haven't used them before, the Fusion glitch titles take a long time to render, even with smart rendering on. So once I went to export my 4K video, it ended up taking over an hour to export a seven minute video. Needless to say, I was surprised and honestly, I was ready to switch back to Premiere Pro 
right there. It wasn't until later when I realized that all you have to do is check this little checkbox here under advanced settings, which will use the rendered footage that you've already rendered during the editing process to render out the final video. Once I checked the box, the export time went from over an hour down to three minutes. So long story short, don't make the same mistake that I did and check this box. All right guys, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope that you found it useful. If you did and you wanna keep seeing content like this, then be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next videos. And I will see you in the next video.